And, and uh, uh, we called in some uh, some of the big guns, a ringer, and so. a fan favorite, Glenn's sister Nikki. Give it up, Nicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back. Glenn and I are here with another episode of Hype Foods and we have a lot of special guests today. First off, we have our friends from I Love I. What up? I'm Nate. I'm Sonny. And, and uh, uh, we called in some uh, some of the big guns and a fan favorite, Glenn's sister Nikki. Give it up, Nicks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey guys. So I Love I is another awesome food channel based here in LA. If you guys please subscribe to their channel, we'll put a link in the description below. But for today, we want to have a little friendly competition with I Love I, so we are doing a thing called the Red Cup Olympics. <laughs> kind of scared. Okay, so we're gonna break up into teams of three and three, obviously, and we're gonna go head to head. Whoever wins the most games by end wins? Yeah. Okay. They get to you first. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Round one, fight. All right, guys, for this first segment of Red Cup Olympics, we are doing a stacking game. So our first contestants are gonna be Glenn and Sunny. So bring it in, guys. So for this first game, the objective of the game is to get this yellow tape cup down back to the bottom. However, you can only stack one by one into the top. So first, we want to get the yellow tape back to the bottom. Wait, okay? Are your marks? Get set. Go! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just kidding. <laughs> go! I was just kidding. Stop, stop. I was ready for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are your marks? Get set. Go! It might have been. I think my cup was going like this. Round one, fight. On your marks, get set, go! Let me cheat. Let me cheat. Let me cheat. Go, 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 Damn. 
Bro, I'm it's too smooth with it, bro. They had such a smooth talk. <laughs> so smooth with it. <laughs> Three for three. We've never done that. I swear. I swear to God. Round three. Fight. On your marks. Get set. Go. Six and a half hours later. Oh my God. Hey, good job. Alright. Like no, don't worry about it. Alright guys, so that's it for our Red Cup Olympics. Today, High Foods was triumphant. I love I took it out. <laughs> we didn't even practice. <laughs> when we came in here, I heard him practice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be on their channel soon. Support their videos, subscribe to them. Uh, and even though that there was winners and losers today for the Red Cup Olympics, I think we're all gonna win because we're about to go. Yep. Finally! So, yeah. Now we're gonna battle who eats the most. <laughs> can't beat me. Right. <laughs> we'll see you guys. What is up, guys? High Foods with I Love I here, and we are here in Eagle Rock, California, checking out the Oyster. The Oyster! <laughs> the Oyster! <laughs> So this is my first time here. Been yeah. here many times. This is a staple of Eagle Rock. They have this ube shake that'll blow your socks off. Yes. And yes. a bunch of other really, really good food. The owner here is a local Filipino chef who fuses a lot of classic California style with a little bit of hints of Filipino food. So it's just like a slight fusion that's really, really good. This is a Filipino video. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go inside, try some of the foods, and we'll be right back. Mm, see you again. Okay guys, so we finally have all our food and we try to order as much as the menu as possible. I, I don't know which one's which. For sure that's pastrami. Yeah, yeah so that, that, for sure. <laughs> and, and, and this is for chili, sure, cheese, this is chili cheese I'm pretty fries. sure this is the so. ube shake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna start with their version of an animal french fry and it's called the piggy fries. So it's a uh, french fries with grilled onions. They have their, their Thousand Island kind of dressing and then the cheese on top. So we've all been here before, but again, this is Nate's first time, so I'm excited. So go I'm ahead. a newbie. Ready? And then we all, uh, we do a high food style. Give it a cheers. Cheers. I got nothing but onion. No. <laughs> I'm not a fan of chili cheese fries with a thousand island dressing. Okay. So you're not a big fan of like animal stuff? I still don't, don't like in and out fries. Honestly, I like their burgers. Don't get me wrong. In and out burger is the best. Their fries taste like caramel. But the moment you add cheese and out thousand island dressing, it's legit. Yes. <laughs> but if in and out had chili cheese fries. Oh man. It would be Tommy's. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I mean I really like these. Really creamy. I look good, I love them. If the cheese was melted a little bit more, I think I'd love them more. Yeah. But good texture on the fries. Is this better than in and out? Yes or no? No. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so we should move on to one of their signature things. These are pastrami. I remember when Glenn first took me here, I it was I was blown away with the pastrami. So they put cheese in here, they also put ca uh, caramelized onions, cabbage, and then they have that that sauce. Alright, cheers. 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 Oh, oh, he did feed him. <laughs> hey, no, 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 I like this one because it has a really good balance of saltiness and then it's the meat is so tender. Strong is good. Consensus, we all love it. I like it. It's good. I would come back just for that. Right? Yeah. Alright, let's move on to the adobo bread. Alright, so it looks like it's got shredded adobo inside with a uh, mayo. And I don't know if there's patties, chicken or beef. I think the patty's actually pork. And it's got bits of onions and tomato. One thing I do remember is that it's actually a pan de sal bun. What? Oh, it is mm -hmm. a pan de sal bun. Mm -hmm. Fresh. They got Lola in the back. I know. <laughs> Whipping it up. This is one of my favorite things here. That's like a garlicky smell. It is oh. garlicky. That That smells good. Alright, let's cheers. 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 Wait, when you cheers, you gotta make it look like a whole burger. <laughs> oh, with yeah. our power well, you guys combined. Bottom cheers. quarter. And cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's kind of like, like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Ultron. <laughs> Damn, that is lights out. Mm. That is garlicky. That, that is, is good. So you don't get the hardcore adobo flavor though. You don't. I guess that's why I was a little upset. I was expecting the adobo. This is really juicy though. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, it really is juicy. I really like the bread. Maybe if I stop thinking about adobo and eat it, it'll, I'll like it better. I was like waiting for like a strong adobo flavor, but you get this like garlicky punch yeah. in your mouth. It's, it's, it's got garlic. 
very very good moving on next uh, i guess we should hit up this what the holiday burger holiday burger onto this holiday burger they have pork i think it's a pork patty they have like cranberry in there mashed potatoes i don't really mess with cranberry you don't like cranberry at all with vodka <laughs> that looks weird yeah because it got mashed potatoes it has like the cranberry which kind of looks like raisins all, all right, right let's try this one cheers cheers Ding. <laughs> please no raisins Nope. No. <laughs> Too sweet for me. You know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of those TV dinners where they have like cranberry sauce. You got like a Salisbury steak, mm. and the mashed potato right there. You mix that all up. It's like that. It's not terrible. But it's kind of weird getting that mashed potato just smash out of it. The ingredients by themselves are not bad, but it's just a weird. The combination of them together, I don't think. Yeah, the meat. Well. The meat was still juicy. Like the bun yeah. was still cooked well. Yeah, it's just a weird. It's a weird team. It's like Carl yeah. Malone, Gary Payton, Kobe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right, next one. This one is called the Bacon Crispinator. It has bacon and crispy onions. It has Thousand Island dressing, I guess. Oh, again. Okay. You like crispy onions? I'm not a big fan of onions. Are you a textures guy? Yeah. Oh, That's me. Dude, we're, <laughs> we're twins. Again. Cheers up. Cheers. Oh, man. That's good. I like it. That whole texture with the bacon. And you have that like that creamy like mayo that's yeah. running through it. But the crunchy onions on it. Oh man. I'm not really into barbecue sauce, but same here. Like, I'm not a big fan of barbecue sauce, but it actually. Mm. I think it balances just just enough. Yeah. yeah. I think Sunny is me in like another years, universe. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> just parallel universe, man. You hear that, mom? I'm gonna be a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the last burger sandwich. We have the Cluckster, which is like their spicy fried chicken sandwich. I don't know if it's no Hal and Ray's, but no. That Howling Ray sandwich is dead. Oh my god. <coughs> I can't even talk to you. <laughs> I can't talk. Hey, if you guys think they should do a spicy challenge with us, put it on the comments below. PJ will. Hey, no, you gotta <laughs> do it with me. Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. So as they're taking a bite, there's like a spicy chicken. It looks like there's ranch, a little bit of lettuce. I like this. Yeah, this is a nice, I'm it has a nice kick. It's not really spicy, but it just has a really nice kick. It right? has that buffalo wing sauce, that tang to it. Vinegar. That vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. And the chicken is tender, man. Wow, you had a moment with that one. Solid. That was a little spicy, so I think we, we gotta, might be ready for dessert. Are we gonna Woo. wash it down? Yes, we are gonna wash it down. This is a fan favorite. Thank so if you don't know what ube is, it's this purple thing that tastes great. Ube is purple yam. <laughs> Whatever Filipino invented it, you the man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. To you can put it on everything. Halo, halo, cake. Right. Pizza. <laughs> I've had this before. I'm excited for him to try it. Yeah. Have it's you true. had it? Have you had it, Sonny? I have not had oh. this. Oh! So. I love this. Actually, here you go. No, no, yeah, both yeah, There you, you go. Same time. Camp. I want to see because I've had cheers. it. Right, cheers. We're we gonna cheers. 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 And we're gonna watch. Game oh, changer, shit. bro. Boy. Damn, that's good. All right, we'll see you on the next. One. <laughs> it's not overbearingly sweet, dude. That's it's not. Bomb. It's not. Oh. It's that good it's, ube. It's so refreshing. And this with that chicken sandwich and that crispy baconator. Oh my god. And you know what? It? It's not completely like you. You get milkshake, and sometimes you can't suck it through the straw. Right. This one yeah. comes out perfect. That's mm. good. Hit that. Woo! I'm drinking the rest. <laughs> We're gonna let the rest of our friends eat, grab some of this food, and we'll be right back with our final thoughts. Okay. All right, guys, so we just finished our meal here at Oinkster, and I must say, just as good as the first time I had it. Yes. How about you, first timer? Man, you know, fries, I don't like fries. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I did enjoy it. The holiday burger was weird, but that baconator. Crispinator? Crisp bacon, crispinator. crispinator. Bacon crispinator with the fried onion, that was bomb. That pastrami was amazing. <laughs> the ube shake. Oh, the ube shake. Go. I, I finished that whole shake. If you had to pick one thing, what was your favorite? Oh man, that's a hard one. Pastrami has to be the pastrami. I do the crispy baconator. Uba shake, got to, got to. I'm gonna agree with uh, my parallel twin here, and I'm gonna agree with the uh, pastrami. Uh, anything you guys disliked? The holiday burger was a little weird. I mean, the, the meat in itself was delicious and tender, but that mashed potato deal was kind of it's just a mix, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, mix, you know bro. what? Yeah, you I, I just like that more than the fries. Okay. 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 You also did think they were chili cheese fries. I did think they were chili <laughs> cheese fries because they kind of look like. He kept it. saying chili cheese the whole yeah, time. Yeah, he said that was all. I was like, where'd you get chili, bro? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, we got a big menu too, so I know I'm gonna come back here and probably check out other things. All right, so that's it for the Oinkster. Uh, we thank you guys for coming along with us for our adventure. I want to thank I Love I for coming out. And thank you guys for inviting us. Follow this these guys. Awesome. Yeah, follow, follow them. them. So if you guys like our videos, please subscribe and please subscribe to these guys, I Love I. Their links will be in the description below. If you guys already do subscribe, hit that bell button. If you guys have been to the Oinkster, put in the comments below what's your favorite. We will definitely be hanging out with Isle of Icing, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And I guess we'll see you guys next time on Hype Food. Peace.